Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. Today we're taking you on a tour of Disney's Boardwalk Inn. This deluxe hotel is near Epcot at Walt Disney World in Florida and is situated on the beautiful Crescent Lake. Explore the hotel, shops, and boardwalk with us. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Here at the Boardwalk. This is a hotel I actually stayed at in high school. Really nice, back in the early 2000s. So they're getting ready to remodel this one, what I've heard. So let's check it out before they do. The Boardwalk opened in 1996. One unique aspect of this hotel is that you can rent Surrey's, a pedal-powered vehicle that can carry an entire family. Boardwalk is set to be renovated, so when you go, it may look different than in this video. Very beautiful hotel, kind of reminiscent of like the, the boardwalk uh, back in the past, in the early 1900s. You got a cool carousel right here. Very nice lobby, and of course the prerequisite Disney Cruise Line kind of uh, model. Yeah, very, very nice lobby. I remember staying here when I was younger. You got a nice cool boat. And you can actually take a boat from here to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. And you got a cool elephant up there. The villas. Oh, and you got some old penny machines. Apparently these things move. People, they'll, they'll move them around when people are asleep and it kind of is freaky because they are really creepy looking. They're called like nanny chairs or something like that. This is really cool, the roller coaster. Very neat. Out here on this porch, you can see some other people's porches. You can see down onto the boardwalk in the big grassy area. People are just sitting down. It's a very nice porch. Got rocking chairs over there. Got some 50th anniversary uh, welcome mats. Remember, I really enjoyed staying here back in high school. It was really cool to have all the shops down there as well, and you could rent those Surrey's right down there. Very pretty. Got another porch out here. You can go to another public porch. And it's across from the one we saw earlier, which was right over there. Just down on the green in the boardwalk. That elephant is lit up inside. I think there's like a real life landmark that's kind of like that elephant. And as I was just saying, there is. There's a picture of it. Here's kind of a map of boardwalk. It circles the boardwalk. You got Epcot and Hollywood Studios not too far away either. There's restaurants here. There's stores, all sorts of stuff. Speaking of stores, here's the gift shop, Dundee Sundries. You get all sorts of boardwalk merchandise in here, including, oh, that one's cool. Look at there. Vacation sensation boardwalk. You get all the different games, Disney games. Pirates of the Caribbean, Battleship, Thomas Kincaid, Disney puzzles, Clue villains, Jungle Cruise game, Star Wars. Let's see what Jungle Cruise game. It's a ooh, it's a very high quality box. Huh, interesting. Yeah, here's some Boardwalk merchandise. You can get like a robe too. Boardwalk on it. Mickey and Minnie. These cool like old school mugs. Or new school mugs. Look, there's, they're right in the Surrey. Rosie's styling and profiling with her Disney glasses. Do you like these? Yeah, they look like you. How's your day today? Very good. Mm -hmm. More boardwalk shirts. Yeah. Ooh, and this is me right here. Looks like the entrance. Some nice magnets. 
Here's the shirt a little bit better. These are nice too. Very nice. I like how the Surrey's present there. My mom actually owned a Surrey for a while. I like the Disney World coloring book. Of course, you can get some snacks. All the Mickey themed candy. Rice Krispie treats. Cookies. Potato chips. And then you got the ones that are, you know, more of the name brands. And they've got those 50th anniversary Cokes. There's the boardwalk yeah. pen. No. So where does this says to film a trash can? The Boardwalk Resort trash can is pretty cool. So outside the gift shop, there's this little elevator area. And ooh, look at this. Member Memories, the vacation club. That's really cool. Old Pictures, really creepy poo. That's cool. You got Tigger. Here's the hall patterns for the rooms. Now we're not staying here, so can't show the rooms. I do have some footage from back in the day when I did stay here. Here we are, Boardwalk Hotel. Out on our porch. You have to get a picture of this. And let's go I back into the room. You have to take a picture of this. Oh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here is a little porch. I can't go out, but there's the pool out there. Pool bar. And maybe we can get a look at the creepy, creepy slide where you slide out of a clown's mouth. I don't think you can. I think I might have gone on that slide, or it might have been closed. I can't remember. this up here. It's crazy. So I remember walking down this hall when we stayed here. Cool paintings. And you got the penny machines where you can look at the, uh, you can watch this little cartoon in here. It's just cool. You put in some money and crank it. So that's neat. And you got the cool boardwalk picture over there. This old school water ride. That is cool. Coney Island. You got a nice bar over there. I remember they had donuts one morning when we were here, and I think they were complimentary donuts. And I think if you come over here, now when we stayed here back in the early 2000s, there were telephones here, but you can tell it's not even used, except for water fountains. There are water fountains, but you can tell there used to be telephones here in the early 2000s, but now with cell phones, it's just they're not needed. You can get a nerve and muscle massage. Rosie's excited because yeah, the ESPN club is here on the boardwalk. <laughs> Pretty lights. So this is out. I think just out in the back of the hotel. This is very peaceful. This is kind of where our porch was when we stayed here. We were just out onto this green. I think we were in one of these rooms over here. And it just, we looked out into the green space. And like you have over here, I think more of the beach, more of the villas. So you have kitchens and all that sort of thing in there. This is a really nice area. These over here are like the cottages, and look, they even have little yards and everything, but these have kitchens in them and all that sort of stuff, but they're really nicely done. Little walkways, even like, supposed to be mailboxes, but they're just birdhouses, but that's a really nice walk. And there's the hotel over there. There's actually a rabbit in here. Where is he? Oh yeah, I see him. Can you see him down in there? Oh, I scared him, because I made some noise. There he is over there though. 
There's one of the pools. This is the calmer pool without all the slides and everything. This is a very calm area if you just look around. Very peaceful if you just want to go for a walk while you're staying here. And actually staying outside of this area would be kind of nice. It's just a nice fountain. You could look out your window and see a nice fountain. Look how we have the walkway down here and the walkway up there. That's cool. So around here, we've got the actual uh, exercise room. Now, if you're not staying here, you cannot go in. The exercise room's in Disney, but uh, it's called Muscles and Bustles, which is really funny. And yeah, looks very nice in there, though. We got the arcade in here. So in the arcade, they do have Mario and Donkey Kong. That's pretty cool. This is a very small arcade compared to a lot of the other Disney art hotels. So here's the Luna Park pool. Looks like they got rid of the giant uh, scary clown face and replaced it with Minnie and Mickey. That's interesting. Yeah, it's roller coaster themed now instead of just clown pun themed. This little area is interesting, just like a little courtyard. Just right in the middle of everything. Neat. There's a lizard down here. You almost steps in that little guy. Gosh, you can... <laughs> Man, this guy is huge. Look at him compared to that other lizard. Rosie said he looked like a baby croc. <laughs> I can see that. So here at the boardwalk, there's an actual gallery in here, and look at these beautiful art pieces. And there's Rosie, the most beautiful art piece of all. I like these doors. What did look you at the say? circle. <laughs> what did you say? You'll find out. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> the octopus is really cool. Wow. Those are really neat. Beautiful art. Thor. <laughs> Captain America. Mickey. Iron Man. It's really funny. Love the manta rays. Oh, there's a cute little hedgehog. That frog is so cool. I love how he stretches down the box. This table is so cool. Dolphins. for the general store, which is basically like their gift shop. This is the general store. They've got snacks. There used to be a bakery out here, and I think it's gone now. You can get all sorts of stuff. You can get tombstone pizzas, drinks, stuff to keep in your room. It's 50th anniversary cupcake. And there's those Rice Krispie treats that are 50th anniversary. All sorts of stuff. Joffrey's coffee, that stuff is delicious. The 50th anniversary Joffrey's coffee. You want some coffee? Cool. Goofy potato chips. Got some cool Winnie the Pooh soap dispensers. You got some more snacks you can buy here. And men's donuts, can't go wrong there. Here's more of the gift shop area. I remember this area from when we stayed here. 
I like the old school bike in here. I don't think you can buy it. And you got some Mickey action figures. And some static action figures. You got a nice painting of the boardwalk too in here. These are like the 2021 um, things. They look like them. The ones they had in 2021. I love these things. I have one from Opryland, or two, I think, and that was a theme park in Nashville. I guess boards are boardwalk themed. The Disney dogs. Look at these Wreck It Ralph bins. So, in the same shop back in the early 2000s, I bought one of these. But it wasn't a 50th anniversary one. It had a lot less stuff to it. It basically just had the uh, round ring that the monorail goes on, the monorail itself, and there were no controls. It went by itself. But yeah, this one I think is in 100 and something. The one I got was like 60 something, I wanna say. Look at Rosie, she's handling her inner red panda. So it being a boardwalk, it is appropriate that they have boardwalk games. You got a hoop toss. You gotta get those, I think you gotta get those in the, in the buckets. And then a shooting gallery. Llama. There's all sorts of restaurants out here. I can imagine if you're in one of these rooms, it get kind of loud. So there's also a couple of like dance clubs. There's Atlantic Dance, and this is Jelly Rolls. There used to be this really good chili dog kind of stand over here that I went to when uh, we stayed here. Had good curly fries, great chili dogs with that plastic cheese. There's the flying fish. It's a restaurant. There's somebody juggling. Abracadabra bar and that's kind of I think the replacement for the chili dog place boardwalk to go Trattoria Al Forno I guess that's how you pronounce it an Italian restaurant along here oh they do sell the boardwalk bakery I think the boardwalk bakery is closing down though unfortunately we do have the 50th anniversary cupcakes Mickey Dome 50th anniversary cakes Mickey lime tart very different from the last time I was in here, <laughs> like 20 years ago. We also have ice cream, and then this is the ESPN kind of restaurant, which I, ESPN club, which I have not heard amazing things about.
Look at that all lit up at night. It is nice. Let's get that zoomed in. Nice. I love this Lego version of the Riviera Resort. It's huge. Very detailed. Wow. Oh, it's even got the Skyliner off to the side. Have the that's where the murals would be. No murals. That is so cool. Yeah, and the back side of the pools. That's really neat. Appropriate Mickey's up there because that would be where Topolino's Terrace is, where the character breakfast is. Very cool. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is your favorite deluxe Disney resort? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.